What's the deal guys? It's Mr. Legit. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys have never been here, that's not my fault, that's yours. We're a roofer here in Portland, Oregon. So uh, stay tuned and make sure to hit that subscribe button, all right? But what we got going on today is we're gonna show you guys how to put an Anderson. Actually, I've never done this, so we're kind of learning together. I'm gonna show you guys how to put an Anderson connector on a trailer. That way, if you guys ever want to dump it, or let's say for, here's why. Because somebody stole our, um, they, what they did is they took our battery. So that's why you would want this, right? Because if they ever stole your battery, you'd be good. So I think what we're gonna need, I've looked up, I'm looking at the same stuff you guys are, if you guys are trying to figure this out. Looking up on YouTube, right? So basically, I just Googled how to put on an Anderson connector and I saw a few things pop up. So kind of like you guys, if you guys are DIY, trying to figure this out. All right, so what we're gonna need to do, guys, is we're going to need to connect the battery. First thing, we need to get a battery going. We need to connect this to the battery, which powers the motor. And then we need to connect this Anderson connector, which powers, which will power the um, the battery up, charge the battery, and the battery will charge the pump up. Now it also looks like they cut this right here is what charges the battery too. So it's a trickle charger. This probably puts out like one and a half amps, and basically it'll take forever to charge up the the battery. Um, so we have to, we're gonna have to connect this to the battery as well. So he cut three things. He cut the charger, the original charger that it came with. He cut our charger, which we're gonna charge up. And then he cut this, uh, the, the, the motor, and also this, which I do not know what this goes to, to be honest. Oh, this charges, this, I don't know what this is. This is, oh, this is the light system. This is the light and the brake system that goes to everything, right? So this all goes to the light and brake system, which is in this box. And this box shoots out and the breakaway is in here. Um, so basically, yeah, all we gotta do is, first, we can't do anything without a bank. So I'm gonna go get a little bit of energy and we're gonna go to probably, I don't know, uh, probably uh, uh, Harbor Freight to figure out exactly what connectors I need. I wish I had something to measure it right now. It says right here, it doesn't really say, let me see if it says right here. I say we go to the hardware store, buy a, uh, uh, a wire gauge, and then we'll see exactly what we need. Then maybe maybe when we're there, we could buy some terminal connectors because we don't know what size we have. So let's just go to the hardware store, and what we'll do is we'll just buy the gauge so we can figure out what size um, wire we're working with. connectors so that way the trigger can dump you guys sell stuff like that do you have a wire gauge there or, or a wire i mean a wire measuring tool um let me see like the little wheel the little wheel thing let's get out of here let's see this guy there
guys. Basically, uh, we already had a deep cycle battery in the shop. I'm gonna connect this. We went around looking for everywhere, could not find, we came out empty handed. So what we got was just some regular all battery terminals for now. That way we can get here and get this trailer um, going. So uh, then what we'll do is wait, go to Amazon, come back in a couple days later and get everything that we need. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna search around and drive around even though we did, but I'm done driving, I get frustrated. Uh, so we're gonna connect this and we'll come back at a later day. All right, guys, it's the next day. If you guys have been to the channel, you know who Justin is, he's the project manager here. He said, we have to hurry up and get this thing in uh, production. So I'm, not, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip on that measuring tool. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to do it right. But who cares, let's skip all that. And uh, we did go down to the local uh, auto, auto, uh, auto store and we picked up some right fittings basically some fittings and if you look this is goes on there just right see that if you look at if you look at that if you look this goes on there just right um now when you look at this put this thing on look at that it fits it 5 16 stud so that's this is going to fit right on the stud what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be putting this right on the stud see that that'll go right on the stud and then this is a four gauge wire that this just goes on there and you when you put this on you got to really pay attention to what you're doing and twist it and and you and you see that one's coming out right there oh there's another one coming out and you just kind of twist it on there like that we're going to put a little bit of heat shrink over it though which i don't want to forget to put this heat shrink i wish i had some red but they don't have red so this black is just going to have to do for now make sure you put it over first right so i'm going to show you guys how to do this and again we're going to crimp it oh see that one hanging out of there i don't like that i just want to see if we can fit them all in there so take off this crimper take out this or this hydraulic crimper right and it has like dies so you put these dies in here this is seven seven gauge right now right see how you put pop these this these uh these dies in here right so this should be four gauge yep and this is four gauge right so what you're going to do is you're going to put the four gauge on the bottom and put this die on the top. Okay. Boom, it locks into place. You push it on and off opens it up. See that? On will crimp it slowly. See how it's hyd the hydraulic in there is moving up? That is super cool. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in there like this. And we're gonna start crimping. Okay, one more baby. Ooh, that's gotta be tight, one more. Yeah, let's try one more. Nope, that's it, so turn it off. Open that up and look at that solid crimp. So at any rate, that's one down, right? We do have the, we do have that down and we, all we gotta do now is go ahead and do, do this one. Now when you're doing this, you could use a, raz a razor blade and I'm gonna cut a little bit off, that way we know exactly how much to get. I'm thinking probably about right here. And if you take up, if you take this connector, you can kind of almost go up there. See how that does. These gloves make things kind of hard. Okay. Now let's see where our connector is down here. I'll put this connector in here, like so. All right, now I don't care too much about that because I'm gonna put the heat shrink on it. And this heat shrink, I think, I believe you can put it on after the fact, it's pretty big. Yeah, so and put it on like that. And when we shrink it down, it'll be boom like that. But for now, let's crimp this thing. That thing ain't going nowhere now. 
go like that and this thing isn't going nowhere. So this is the negative. All right. And this is the positive. Let's get this thing dumps, dude. Golden, dude. Just needs a little charge, charge battery. All right, guys, now that we just finished up the motor, now what we're gonna be doing is connecting this. This is kind of the bread and the butter. So this Anderson connector, um, this Anderson connector is basically what will motor this in case that they, uh, in case the battery dies. This goes directly into the truck and it runs off the, the batteries in the truck, right? So this is super handy. We just keep this in here, pull this out, plug it in, and it just works awesome. Now, what I need, I tried to, I tried to take this off with these, um, these wire cutters, but man, the, I don't know. Look, if you look, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the wire cutters is just kind of damaged and broken up there, and it's just, just chewing into this. I mean, I can kind of get it. It's almost there, but here's look what happened. Look. These are so fine compared to the other ones that are a thicker, uh, a thicker copper wire, but let me go ahead and get a razor blade and that won't happen. Cut, pulls right off, doesn't cut anything. See that? Now that's nice, that's what I'm talking about. Um, what we're gonna need to do is take this to the auto parts store and without that measuring tool, I would love to have that measuring tool, but we're just gonna take this, since they cut it, right down to the auto parts store, plug this in and see which one we need. So. Let's go out, uh, let's go right down. This, this auto parts store is right down the street. So let's go ahead and check that out, guys. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of degre degreaser now and just kind of go ahead and, this has gotta be perfect, but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some of this grease out of here and, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and get to it. All right, now that we got her all cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and insert the battery. We're gonna go ahead and connect the motor, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect the, the direct power from the truck. Oh, that's fucking a beautiful fan, dude. Beautiful. Boom. All right, guys, now we're back here. We got the truck, we got the connector. I just want to show you kind of how we connected it. So you take this Anderson connector, and I'm not gonna hook it up, but this is just for demonstration purposes. If you look, we have uh, put this Anderson connector down here. You just take this, and you connect it. Boom, you're connected in. Now, all of this juice from this truck is running straight, off, straight to this motor. So this could basically be dead and you're still gonna get all the juice. Now this thing will just go up, go down. This thing's heavy right now. Check this out guys, look at this down here. See that, the alternator? This one says uh, poor, fair, good, and then it has an alternator one, and that means that you're charging it. So if we disconnect the Anderson connector, that'll come off, watch. Disconnect that, and now watch. Now it's just good, now it's just not good, not on the alternator, you guys see that? But all right, man, we are out of here. Um, and that's pretty much how you, that's our setup, man. That's our trailer setup. We have to do this again. They broke into our trailers a couple times, so we're gonna have to do this again on another, on another trailer. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever ran into the situation or what you guys do for your setups. We like this, that way we're never, wherever, whenever we go out, even if we do run out of battery, who cares? We connect this anyways. We don't ever run out of juice. So you guys have a good day and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.